Northwestern is headed to Washington, to Seattle, and Washington is a 10.5 point favorite, total of 42.5. This thing was Washington 11.5. It got bet down. Now we're going the other direction. Uh, Washington PBA margin is number nine. Northwestern is number 74. That PPA is predicted points added, by the way. Uh, Washington as, it is actually surprisingly pretty good. They've laid a, uh, a more difficult strength of schedule than Northwestern. They're number 92 in that. Northwestern number 120 uh, in their current strength of schedule. Power rating-wise, number 21 against number 46. But there's only about four points of difference there as far as a raw power rating. When you look at the stats model, you start looking at plays per game on each side. You start looking at how efficient each team is, and Northwestern's offense is only number 98 in PPA per drive, number 101 in PPA per play. So that ain't great when it comes to trying to predict a score, et cetera. Uh, but Washington, you know, on the other side, their defense is not terrible, and number 12 in PPA per pass. Um, Northwestern's number 109. They have got to get this quarterback situation figured out. Uh, they're not really able to run the ball well, but I think they will have some success against Washington's defense. The real thing here is Washington's offense is going to be able to score on Northwestern's defense. Uh, Northwestern's defense is uh, over over 65% of the snaps that they have faced on defense has been a passing play, and they're not great at defending it. Number 92 in passing success rate allowed. Number 92 in passing explosiveness. Now, Washington is not exactly explosive, but they are pretty decent. Number 46 in passing success rate. Number 17 in PPA per pass. So those are things to pay attention to here. Uh, you start looking at five factors plus talent. Washington number 47 and Northwestern number 85. Uh, I think this one went the wrong direction. If you're just looking at power rating, it would make sense to take Northwestern. But you got to look at what these teams have actually done thus far on the field a little bit. Once we get to this point in the season, I'm going to take Washington minus the 10 and a half. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.